Hey guys, it's Carol Piles, and I'm doing the video I said I'd do to show you how to do some stuff with Mac. Um, several of you said you either just got your Mac or you have one coming, so I wanted to show you basically kind of how you'll find your your Mac when you first get it. One thing that will help speed things along, help you find your programs, you'll need to go to Finder and over here in the favorites you'll have applications. You want to click your mouse or your touchpad with two fingers on application. That's the right that, that makes the right click. And you can say add to dock. That moves that down here, and then you can drag it. Um, yeah. And click and drag it to where you want it. Which is, that's typically where I put it. Applications is where you will find all your programs. Now, if you have a program in here that you want, out on your dock, like I, you know, so I have Chrome and um, let's see, I don't have Firefox. So again, you'll click with two fingers on either your white mouse or your touchpad. Okay, maybe not here. Sorry. Okay, so you have to go back into where Applications was in Finder. Uh, Firefox. Again, you two fingers to right click, and then you can say, eh, "Why am I not seeing it?" Okay. Well, there's supposed to be an add to dock here. Why am I? I'm not seeing it. So ignore that. <laughs> Oh, I know. Go ahead and open the program while it's out here. You can do that. Right click and then say keep in dock. And then you can click and click and drag and put it where you want it. Okay. Next, fonts. DAfont.com is a huge database of fonts. Um, I'm going to show you. I'm going to download. Oh, let's see, I actually did just download Bizu. Okay. So I downloaded this font here. Um, this is where your downloads can be found on your dock. It's a quick, easy way to find them. Um, it's always there. If you want to go in to downloads to bring up a new window, you do the right click again. I want to move that file somewhere else. And to scroll like I'm doing, you do the two fingers and you just slide. Where did Bizu go? Oh my goodness. There we go. Bizu. I'm going to click and drag this over to my tutorial files for you. <sighs> okay. Zip files in Mac is super easy. When you double click it, it automatically opens it and extracts it and creates a folder in the same location as where the zip file was. In this case, it is a font, so you want to go into the folder you will right click or 
you go ahead and open the font, not right click, sorry. Oh, you just double click on the font, the window opens, and you just say install font. You know, kind of do a bit of flashing there and then show you the new font. Sometimes it will come up with some sort of error. Usually it's my minor and you can just say OK and it'll still go ahead and install. In this case, with this one, I want you to see because this actually has folders inside folders, but again, it will just extract them into the same location as the zip file. You can open it and you get all these. These are all SVG files and when they are already an SVG file, you do not need to run these through any program. You can upload them directly into Cricut Design Space. Um, let's see here. Oh, another helpful thing with Max. Say you want to show somebody this picture here. A lot of times if you right click on it, okay, this one says save as, but some sites you cannot save an image. But you want to send somebody a picture. If you do command shift and four, you get this little crosshair. This is so you can do a screenshot. So you drag it around what you're wanting to take a picture of and it takes a screenshot. It is now on your desktop. Ready to send or use whatever way you want. If you want to send something to the trash, right click, whoops, right click, move to trash. Which I actually need to empty that. Um, other shortcut keys where you have text like this, command C is copy, command V is paste, command X is cut, and then command Z is undo. If you have been a Windows user for a long time, you would probably remember those as control. So the only change is you use command. And command is the key next to your space bar. It's actually on both sides, has a little flower on it. You will find that a lot of Mac commands use that. Um, I think that is about it for this tutorial. Um, some helpful programs. Breeze. It makes it so you can actually have windows split really quickly. Let's be able to do this and then you can go. I want it on the left side. And then you can put another window over here. Kind of helps when you're working in two different places. Um, that is a paid program. I think you just Google Breeze and it would come up. Another super helpful program. It is kind of pricey, but so worth it if you're used to working in Windows. Is Parallels. It makes it so you can have a Windows installation on your Mac and you run it directly inside Mac OS X. You don't have to like load it separately. Right, so I'll show you here. It literally just runs Windows in another window <laughs> on your Mac. <laughs> I 
10 it looks like right now you can actually get it for $40 the upgrade so that's actually a pretty good deal and if you have you know a Windows license then you can have it installed I'm sorry about this video taking forever, but I wanted to show all the things that helped me get through my day. Anyways, while that's loading. Um, okay, maybe not. Well, I can't have access to my mouse apparently. Um, there we go. Control Alt. Um, again, yes, like I was saying, downloads are here. It's all your quick downloads, applications. You can just scroll through them. Yeah, so slow. Um, so yeah, this is Windows running inside of Mac. And you still shut it. You shut Windows down the way you would shut your computer down. <laughs> As the programs inside Windows is running, they'll show up down here with the little Parallels logo on them. Um, and actually, if you just got a Mac, you need to go into the App Store. And I do believe you will get Numbers, Pages, and Keynote for free. I think that comes as a free download with any new machine right now which is these are the equal to Microsoft Office programs numbers is spreadsheet program pages is like Word and then Keynote is like PowerPoint so helpful to always have those um, oh and how I'm recording this if you go and open up QuickTime and you go up here to File, you have these options here. You, new movie recording will open up your webcam. New audio recording, you can just do an audio recording. And then screen recording, it will do like I'm doing right now and showing you everything I'm doing. Okay, my last recording kind of cut off when I was showing you QuickTime. <laughs> so um, I think I just got a few more things I was wanting to show you. If you have programs that are left running in the background, you'll have this little white dot under the icons in the dock. If you do not want them running, because sometimes they're taking up a lot of resources, you right click on the icon and then just say quit. It doesn't hurt the program at all. Just help save resources, especially Google Chrome. You need to do that at least twice a day. It is a major resource hog. Doesn't matter if you're on Windows or Mac, that thing takes up so much resources. But at the same time, it is a browser you want because it is safer to use that than most other browsers. Granted, Safari is a decent browser for Mac, so I wouldn't don't be too concerned. Safari isn't like the equivalent of Internet Explorer where, oh my goodness, you're going to get the viruses. Mac's a, kind of a little bit safer on getting viruses. You still need to be careful, but 
it's a little bit harder. <laughs> um, ways to keep your stuff organized. As you can see, I have all these files on my desktop, which I cleaned up before I started recording because you have been like, oh my goodness, I had files everywhere. Anyways, if you right click, you get the option of new folder. Simple as that. Name it. Name it what you want. Well, there you go. This. Okay. Anyways. So let's make folder and put stuff in folders. Um a little tip because as you can see, I'll go up here. The newer Macs do not have much storage. I have the 256 gig solid state hard drive in my MacBook. As you can see, it is full to the brim. I need to clean out some files. Invest in an external hard drive. They will be a lifesaver on space. You can usually get a one to two terabyte Seagate one that kind of just fits in a pocket. It's they're super tiny. Um, you can usually get those at Best Buy, anywhere from fifty to eighty dollars, usually on sale. But they will save you so much on your space, and you just keep it with you wherever you take your Mac, and you just plug it up, and it's your files ready to go, but not taking up all the space on your computer. Because as you start downloading files for putting in the Cricut Design Space, your computer will fill up with files so crazy fast. I mean, you can look in here at my project files and all these things that I've downloaded and it's, i got to get off here. So, yeah. Um... I think that's about it for the basics. I plan on doing another video on some ways to use Inkscape. If anybody would be interested in ways to use um, Adobe Illustrator, I would be glad to do a video for that as well. For ways that it will help you with working on files to, to put into design space. So hit me up in the comments. Let me know if that's something you're interested. Sorry this video is so long, but I wanted to cover all the basics. Don't go to sleep on me, people. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, and I will be doing more of these videos. Bye.